Hi everyone, uh, over the last week I've been playing with some Sonoff uh, devices and um, these little bare ESP8266 uh, modules, a little ESP01 module I should say, uh, which contains the ESP8266 uh, Wi-Fi module and the flash RAM and stuff like that. Um, now we want to program the, uh, I want to program the Sonoff uh, replacement firmware, um, well actually it's the Tasmoda uh, firmware, so I'm going to um, uh, program that on this morning using this little USB programmer. It makes it a lot easier because it's already got the correct header on it. It's got the switch on it to put it into programming mode. So that way there is in UART mode and that's programming mode. So we want to put it in programming mode. We plug that on, have it so it's facing overhanging the board. Um, and I'll just run up the ESP flasher, uh, ESP8266 flashing tool, which I'll put a link in below. And we can plug in our little unit into a USB port. I've just got that extension there. So you can see it's come up as COM4 because it already knows about that tool. I've had that um, little programmer board plugged in before, so it already knows the COM port. And that's the only COM port available on this computer, so it makes it easy. Uh, if you go into config, go in, press the gear, choose the sonoff.bin file that you downloaded from GitHub earlier. So that'll effectively, uh, um, that's got the Tasmo, this is the Tasmoda firmware, um, but it's the sonoff bin because it suits the sonoff units, but uh, it'll also suit if you're just going to do the bare unit like that. So we had that in programming mode before we uh, plugged it in, then we'll just slip it down to UART mode. And go back to the operation tab, press the flash button, and it's off to a good start. Even before the progress started there, it came up with a MAC address that's burnt into the um, the uh, chip there on the ESP01 board, so you know that it's definitely okay. So that's going away there. So it probably takes it about a minute. Okay, we're nearly done, and you can actually see the LEDs flashing, or that blue LED flashing on that unit there. So, um, here we go. Little tick box just gone green down there. So, it says we've successfully flashed the Sonoff bin file, uh, which is the actual Tasmoda firmware, uh, onto that ESP8266. So, um, you can close that, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, don't know how well this is going to focus. This is using my other phone. Um, we can see we've plugged, still got that unit plugged into the USB. Uh, I plug, unplugged it, plugged it back in, so it would get a, uh, so it would re definitely reset it. So now we can see, oops, I'll just cancel that. Now we can see it's coming up as that new Sonoff unit there. So if we go to there and uh, connect to that. So there we go, it's connected. So it's connected to that new Sonoff. Now take notice that of that name, so that's Sonoff-0987. So we'll get out of there. You can see it's already come up and we've logged straight into the Sonoff. I just tried to browse to Google on the phone, um, but because it's connected to that uh, module, it's um, just jumped straight to here. It's forced it to go to the Sonoff itself. You can see the IP address it's got there, so uh, at the top there, that's the default address that all of these, um, these firmwares give. So we can see, and then you can key in your um, SSID of the network that you want it to connect to later on, the permanent connection, because this is only a temporary connection where this module has, connect, uh, has um, created its own um, access point and um, ID. So if you want to connect it to your own, um, you're keying your details there, and um, you can actually scan for um, Wi-Fi networks, and there's a couple around there. You can see, um, not sure if you can see there, it's showing a few connections around there, so we could connect to that, put our password in, and connect to it. Okay, I've. Uh, not using my phone anymore. I've just gone on to my uh, my actual LAN because it's connected. This computer's connected to that same LAN, 
So um, I've just put in up the top there that sonoff dash o nine eight seven dot lan. Uh, it's important that you put dot lan after it so it can find it, and that's what's come up with that configuration screen there. So where you can go and um, if you if it was already pre-configured, you could just toggle the uh, the module on and off, and you can probably see. Um, don't know if it'll show up. Yep, you can see a little blip there on the LED as it was accessing it. So that's accessing that module now, and we can go in and configure it. We can tell it it's a um, it's a Sonoff Basic, or in my case, I was using the Sonoff TH uh, when I configured these uh, Sonoff THs, ones that I put in my garden shed and uh, in the ceiling space for the um, uh, perimeter lights around my house to turn them on and off. So uh, you can go in, change the type of thing. If you do change the type of device it is, it will uh, say it's going to restart and whatever, and then it'll pop up with the main menu in a few seconds. There we go. So we turn that back off. Um, in the information there, there's a whole bunch of stuff there about the signal strength received and why it started last time and a whole bunch of MQTT stuff. Um, but I'll uh, link in below the little page where I uh, put off how to configure it, configure the time like that. And um, you can also back up the configuration. There's a whole bunch of stuff there you can do. Uh, logging and there's all this sort of configuration. The configuration other, you can set it to a more friendly name. So um, so I'll just set it to that just to show now that's going to restart. And you see up the top there, it's already got the new name. So that way, when you access them via the web page, you can see which one's which. So I've got a, uh, a few different ones there. So I hope that uh, helps people get started because I was a little bit confused about how exactly to um, get the firmware onto these using those various programs. A lot of them mention a, a Python uh, type program or scripts to run and things like that. But honestly, for a Windows user, it's it's a bit too complicated for a lot of people. So I thought this might be a little bit easier. So see, here you go.